Hello everyone, welcome to Wine Tripping TV's video vocabulary of wine. We bring in the experts so that you can learn more. And today we have Mike Henley from Craggy Range visiting us. Welcome Mike. Thank you Dan, it's good to be here all the way from the other side of the world. I know, it's amazing what we can do with technology, isn't it? A technology like this is just incredible, but uh, welcome to um, not so sunny New Zealand, bearing in mind we're sort of at the end of our winter going into a uh, pretty wet spring at the moment here in Hawke's Bay. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear it's not sunny. Um, I understand you're going to be sponsoring one of our video vocabulary words today. I am. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm going to sponsor a, well, it's a couple of words, I suppose, but a couple of words that are, are most synonymous with New Zealand, and that is, of course, and probably all your viewers, and that's, of course, um, Sauvignon Blanc. Okay, um, fantastic. Let's hear it. Well, I mean, Sauvignon Blanc, it's, it's, the, it's the main thing that drives New Zealand's wine industry. It's the thing that has put little old New Zealand. I mean, we're not a big country. We have four million people. We have a lot more sheep than that. But we have four million people, and we're not big. But it's the thing that's driving our, uh, our wine industry and making us uh, stand out on a world stage um, because, well, we make some pretty distinctive wines using the Sauvignon Blanc grape. Um, but to give you a few facts and figures about the about Sauvignon Blanc, um, you know, it's it's responsible for roughly 65 percent of, or 65 or 70 percent of all the all the fruit coming out of all the wine coming out of um, out of New Zealand. Um, it's made in a number of different regions. You've got uh, Marlborough, which is obviously the most famous of, of of our Sauvignon Blanc producers, and that's that's responsible for roughly. 90% of the uh, Sauvignon Blanc uh, production from New Zealand, but there, but there are other little pockets of, of areas around New Zealand that, that are just as great as Sauvignon Blanc, and, and areas such as Hawke's Bay, uh, where we're based at the moment, but certainly are um, a Martinborough Sauvignon Blanc, because we believe that that adds something uh, quite different from your normal, typical New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc, and, and we think that you know, New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc as a category is something that uh, can, can continue to grow on the world market. We just have to make sure our consumers get to taste all the various styles of Sauvignon Blanc out there on the market. That's fantastic. Now, tell me about uh, the exciting things happening at Craggy Range. Okay, well, well Craggy Range, we're a, we're a single vineyard producer. Um, we're one of New Zealand's only specialist um, single vineyard producers. So, so everything, every wine that you get from Craggy Range is is a, is a unique take on a on a certain variety. And it means that the great thing about it is it means that we can make wine from nearly every of main region of New Zealand. So we, as I said earlier, we, we're based here in Hawke's Bay, and that this is the home where I'm sitting now is called our Giants Winery, and this is the home of our um, of our Bordeaux varieties, our Syrah, which is really exciting coming out of New Zealand at the moment, Chardonnay. But then as we go further south, you, you remember we're in the southern hemisphere here, so uh, we're upside down to you guys. So as we go further south, we're getting a little cooler. So we hit Martinborough, which is around about three and a half hours um, south of Hawke's Bay by drive. And um, that's where we've got our Pinot Noir and our Sauvignon Blanc. And then you go further south from that, and you're in Marlborough, and we've got some Riesling and some... Sauvignon Blanc there, and then you can go all the way down to the deep dark south down in Centro Otago. Really marginal climates down there, but beautiful, beautiful place. And that's where we get some fantastic Pinot Noir. So, so Craggy Range is a single vineyard producer. We are able to show the consumers, we're able to show the people who are really interested in New Zealand wines. You can come to our cellar door and you can taste wines from all, all, the, all the regions of New Zealand. And that's, that's pretty unique and pretty special, and we're pretty excited by that. Because we think that you know the consumers, we want to take them on a journey. Um, we want to take them on a journey of discovery of New Zealand. New Zealand's got a hell of a lot to offer. Um, a beautiful place with some fantastic wines and Craggy Range. Um, through our wines, we think we can take you on a real journey of what New Zealand does offer. And I think we're gonna we're gonna get into it a little bit in our second interview with what New Zealand has to offer altogether. Um, before we um, finish off this interview, tell me a little bit now, obviously being large, we can, we can find your wines all over the place. Um, is there anything that you'd want to tell people about how they can get their hands on your wines? Um, well, Dan, I mean, I suppose we're not really that large, really. Um, in, in the scale of things, we're actually pretty small. It's just that because we make a lot of different wines, um, you can find us in a lot of various places. And then 
we've got some great partners around the world who are able to get the distribution in the right places for us. So it's been, uh, we're, technically we're probably not really that large, but um, certainly uh, you would find us in, in a lot of the, the really great restaurants scattered throughout the world. I mean, Mr. the Peabody family who own Craggy Range, um, they created Craggy Range from scratch because they wanted to go to, they, they travel around the world world a lot and they wanted to go to some of the best restaurants in the world and they wanted to sit down in those restaurants and they love to be able to drink Craggy Range wine. So so you'll find us in a lot of the top restaurants all around the world. You'll also find Craggy Range wines in some of the better independent wine stores or the better wine chain stores um, scattered throughout the neighborhood um, areas. Uh, but you know we're not everywhere uh, but we're certainly in enough places and we make enough noise that, that um, that you can find us if, if you search a little harder, and I promise you we're worth it. Let's talk soon, and we'll talk about the classic New Zealand wine trail. Well, we'll look forward to seeing you all down here in New Zealand. I mean, you can see, you can have a look at it on the website there, but uh, certainly uh, if you come down and see us in New Zealand, you get a different perspective of it all. So come and visit. Perfect. Thanks. I'll talk to you soon.